Good afternoon, everyone. This is Carl F. Rose recording from Bedford, Pennsylvania on uh, Saturday, November 5th, 2022. And um, I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm going to review um, my where I went wrong on my last week's picks, and then, um, then I will show you this week's picks. And uh, keep in mind, all these predictions I made for the week, I made them right after preseason and uh, be before any uh, regular season game started. Um, I actually had the Lions at, at 10 and 7. And um, um, if I remember right in that video, I was saying that was that was only on conditions that, that they stayed relatively healthy and, you know, very few injuries and especially uh, uh, no injuries to key players. Well, um, we all know now, especially the Detroit, uh, the Detroit crowd knows the, um, <laughs> the the injury bug that's hit the Lions, and they're they're one and six. But that's that's no excuse. They have a lot of issues. They weren't going to be a very good team anyway. But um, uh, um, I was uh, being cautiously optimistic, and uh, a healthy Lions team, um, they would they would definitely not be one and uh, six. They, they, you know, they could easily have been six and one, but um, uh, when all your your main players are injured, uh, doesn't care doesn't matter what team you are when when you're all injured, um, you're not going to be very good when your best players are injured. It's just that's just the way it goes. That's just football. Anyway, well, um, I had a terrible week last week, as you can see. Um, I picked uh, Buffalo over Green Bay um, correctly. And I did have Detroit um, um, beating Miami, um, and um, uh, it's a game they should—they actually should have won, but um, I messed up on that. Uh, then I had—I um, I, had—oh um, yeah, I had—I had New England beating the Jets, and and the the, the uh, Jets won. That was a surprise. Um, I got the Cleveland and Cincinnati game right. Um, they beat uh, Cincinnati, and um, um, I actually had the Steelers beating the Eagles, and uh, uh, that was just uh, um, actually I even though I picked it incorrectly, uh, it it went out good. I'm I'm not big on the Steelers, and um, I'm kind of hoping that they can end up with a worse record than the Lions, um, but that's going to be hard to do. Uh, <laughs> um, and uh, then um, I, I picked Tennessee correctly over Houston, and um, uh, Washington's starting to surprise me. Um, I, I had uh, Indy beating them, but uh, they, they got the win. Um, I picked uh, Denver correctly uh, over Jacksonville, um, and I wasn't sure where it was played. That was, I think that was the London game. Um, so um, anyway, then... then um, uh, I correctly picked uh, the Saints over the Raiders. I didn't expect the Raiders to get shut out. The Raiders played as badly against the Saints as the Lions played against um, New England. Um, just, just pathetic. Um, uh, just, just awful. If you're a Raiders fan, yeah, you you hated that game. Um, and then um, I had Dallas uh, beating the Bears. Uh, they they did a number on the Bears. I incorrectly picked um, uh, the Giants to beat Seattle. I don't think Seattle's that great of a team, but the uh, Giants are playing over their heads. But they lost to Seattle. Then I thought I thought Arizona was a better team, um, but they they uh, uh, so I picked them over Minnesota. Uh, what I want to say now is about the Minnesota Vikings with the recent trade with the Lions. Lions, uh, I see the direction they're going in. Uh, there's other videos on it, so I'm not going to touch on that. But Lions, um, Lions are freeing up some cap space, and and uh, they they made a, a, a uh, they traded um, T.J. Hawkinson, who they weren't really using, which baffles me. Um, I, I believe, I guess he's just not set for the, the offense they want. So um, trading him was, you know, there's a lot of people complaining about it, but if you're not going to use him, why pay him a ton of money? 
So basically the Lions gave the Minnesota Vikings the division and probably the um, uh, NFC championship if they can get past uh, uh, the Eagles. Um, I see I see the uh, Vikings and the Eagles playing playing uh, for the, the championship to get into the Super Bowl at this point in time. And um, um, I'm not sure that's that'll be a good game to watch. Actually, I don't really care for either team, but um, uh, it'll be a game that I'll be interested in watching. Um, and um, then uh, if it comes down to that, um, and then I correctly picked Atlanta over Carolina. Then um, I incorrectly picked the, the Rams um, over the 49ers, but 49ers are playing better than I thought. Rams are not, not doing as good as I thought. Um, and, uh, and I'm going to say this again. Uh, Matthew Stafford's play, uh, playing on the Rams um, like he was playing on the Lions. Um, uh, but it goes back to what I was saying about drop back quarterbacks. We're, we're, the NFL is, is evolving into a, a more of a um, uh, mobile quarterback thing. And uh, I want to touch on that with the Lions a little bit. It looks like they're, they've got their eyeballs on a, uh, a mobile quarterback for the, the uh, draft because yeah, uh, there's going to be a number of quarterbacks available. And that's why the, the TJ Hawkinson trade happened. And um, uh, yeah, the, the Lions are, because uh, Jared Goff just is not the guy. Yeah, but um, enough on that. Um, and finally, um, I had, uh, uh, I thought, again, once again, I thought that Tom Brady was going to come through. Um, I bet um, if they don't make the playoffs, if Tampa doesn't make the playoffs um, in such a weak uh, uh, division, in a, in a weak um, conference, uh, he may be hanging it up this year. Um, they're just, I just thought he was going to win more games. But anyway, Baltimore beat Tampa. And, um, uh, but yeah, Harbaugh, off the other, other week, Harbaugh was, um, uh, Jim Harbaugh was, uh, not, um, John, <laughs> excuse me, wrong Harbaugh. Um, but anyway, Harbaugh was in a really rotten mood, so they got the win over Tampa. Uh, and, uh, th that's about it. So now let's look at my week, my picks for this, for tomorrow. Um. And I, I'm sure I've got some of them wrong. Uh, or we'll get some. I have Buffalo beating the Jets. Um, I don't see that one being a problem. I have Miami at Chicago. And um, Chicago's not that good. <laughs> um, um, Miami, Miami, um, Miami isn't great, but they're capable of, of beating Chicago. So that pick might go off. And um, I have um, Indy at, uh, beating New England. Uh, that, again, that's a toss-up. That could go either way. But I've got Indy beating New England. Um, I have Baltimore um, winning in New Orleans. I, I think that, that'll go that way. And I have Cincinnati uh, beating uh, Carolina. That's in Cincinnati. Cincinnati should have that one. Um, I forgot to check the final score for Thursday, but I believe the Eagles did. Uh, beat uh, Houston and the Houston Texans. Uh, so that's, uh, I have that uh, chalked down as a win already. I have the Ra Raiders uh, beating Jacksonville. I think they're going to, after last week, um, I think they're going to bounce back and uh, take it out on uh, Jacksonville. Um, but it, it's not going to be a blowout or anything. It's probably going to be a close game. And for some reason, I picked Tennessee to upset Kansas City. Um, I think that's going to be a pick that goes wrong. And I have uh, Atlanta beating the Chargers. It's in Atlanta, so they might um, uh, they might win. Um, and then I have Washington. Well, yeah, uh, again, this was made during after right after the preseason. Um, I've got Washington uh, um, beating Minnesota, but. With Minnesota having Hawkinson now, they've got um, uh, Kirk Cousin has, Cousins has um, uh, he's got the the guy to to get passes to right down the middle. Not only that, that he helps he helps on the blocking, and uh, he's going to get uh, he's going to get the chance he deserves in Minnesota. 
and the real TJ Hawkinson will show up. Um, I think it's going to be a long day for Washington on that one, uh, but I have them winning. I have Detroit beating Green Bay. Um, that's a possibility. Um, I, the way things are going for the Lions, I, I think they they could possibly finish the season at one and sixteen, um, but. We'll see. It's in Detroit. Green Bay isn't that great. They've got they've got a lot of injuries too. So we'll just have to see what happens um, with that game. That'll be interesting. And I have the Rams beating Tampa. Um, that game could go wrong. It's in Tampa, um, and uh, I don't think Brady's in too good of a mood. Um, but um, uh, we'll see what happens. Then I have Arizona beating Seattle, and um, uh, that could go either way too. So anyway, well, that's about it. Uh, just want to get this out. Talk to you later. Have a good day.